How's it going guys, Jacob here. Today, I'm gonna give you the list of the best keyboards under $500. Before we go into detail on each keyboard, here's the list. The Casio CT-S200, Yamaha Piagirio 9P12, Roland Go Piano, the Korg Liano, and the Alesis Recital Pro. Now, a little word on this word, best. I don't really see it as best or worst. It's really more about what's right for you, what keyboard is right for you. So that's what I'm gonna talk mostly about here. Also a little bit about this price range. Mostly you get unweighted keys, but they're still touch responsive. So that means if you play harder or softer, the keyboard will react to the way you're playing and the expression will match it. But just so you know, this price range is generally best for beginners, casual or aspiring players. Maybe you need to get something for a young musician who's just getting started, or you want something simple to play on for yourself. Regardless, know that these keyboards can deliver for a steal of a price. Also, don't forget about bundles for these keyboards that will give you things like the piano plus accessories all in one buy. Items like a bench, keyboard stand, headphones, instructional books, and more. Now let's dive into the keyboards. The first one, the Casio CT-S200. And I have it here on Sweetwater.com. You can see it's a 61 key digital piano, 48 notes of polyphony. That's how many notes can be played and sounded at once. Once you hold or sustain or play more than that, notes will drop out. You have piano style keys, 400 tones, 77 rhythms, 60 songs, and onboard digital effects and MIDI connectivity. And you can see just 140 bucks, 139, so less than 200 bucks, and you get a good bit of functionality. Now all that information I got up here at the top, this blurb that's right under the title of the keyboard, that's a really useful thing to check out when you're shopping on Sweetwater.com. We go to the bottom here, you can also see the next thing I like, which is the list of features. Already mentioned some of this stuff. Other features include dance music mode, which adds 50 extra rhythms. Included lesson function teaches you songs. You can learn with this keyboard. Optional battery operation, you'll find that a lot of the keyboards in this range are battery powered, and it has a built-in carry handle, which makes transporting it a breeze. If we go down to the bottom, you see the tech specs. There's more information here on the ins and outs, other features. Another thing I wanna point out is the software, the Cordana Play app. A lot of these keyboards have great apps that they're compatible with that allow you to control them, control the keyboard from the app, from your phone or a tablet or whatever, and you can also use them to record, learn. Uh, it's really powerful tools that you get with those apps. Next up is the Yamaha Piagiro NP12, 61 key piano with speakers. So even though, again, 200, just a little over $200, you get built-in speakers and 61 keys. Now you will find there aren't as many 88 key options in this price range. That's simply because those sit generally a little higher to pay a little bit more for those. But for this price range for, again, the kind of player that's probably gonna be using these, which honestly is probably younger players, 61 keys is probably enough for them to get started, start learning some scales, play along with some drum beats and stuff. You can have a lot of fun with these keyboards. So 61 keys, half damper capability. So half damper being able to do half pedaling that you can do on an acoustic piano. Pretty cool to have in a affordable keyboard like this one. USB connectivity, iOS apps, more apps that are compatible, onboard speakers, mention that, and battery powered. Next is the Roland Go Piano, which has a 61 key version and the 88 key right here, the Go Piano 88. Let's look at the 61 though. You got 61 keys, 40 sounds, built-in recorder, recorder function, Bluetooth audio and MIDI connectivity. This piano also has full-size piano keys. And for any of these keyboards in this price range that have full-size keys, it's a really good thing to consider and something you might want because think about an aspiring musician, a young musician that's starting out. You know, you're probably not going to buy a you know, $50,000 acoustic grand piano for a new musician. They're gonna start on a keyboard or something smaller like that just to get started. But if they're playing on full-size keys, even just 61 keys, when they do transition to a real instrument, they'll be used to that. They'll be used to the size of those keys and the technique it takes from everything from where to put your fingers, all of that. And to go one step further, if you have it in the budget to go for this one, the 88 key version, 
then you also get full-size keys and 88 keys. So if you have a student that wants to start with classical repertoire or some repertoire that uses the entire range of the keyboard, you have that, even in this more affordable beginner instrument. Next up is the Corgliano, and this one is an 88 key instrument, light touch action. So again, not many of these are gonna have fully weighted hammer action. Again, that's mostly something you find 500 and above, but you will have still response keys, touch response keys. So even though the action is light, you will still get that hard and soft, the same response you would get from a higher end digital piano. You got 120 note polyphony on this one, so more notes that will sound. That's definitely gonna be better for someone that's playing more involved complex music. Uh, Built-in reverb effect, metronome, speakers, pedal input, headphone output, USB audio MIDI, all that standard stuff. Comes with a pedal switch, music stand, and battery powered as well. Now some people might think the sounds you'll find on keyboards in this price range are not very good, but you actually be surprised. And for instance, in the Korg Liano, they use sounds built on Korg's Nautilus Italian Grand. So that's one of their higher end flagship keyboards. It's actually now, I think, their highest end flagship keyboard replacing the Kronos. So Nautilus is one of their top instruments. And the fact that you're getting a sound on this little guy from that, it's pretty cool. There's compatible software that comes with this keyboard as well. You get SCUV. Korg Modules, and Korg Gadget 2 LE. Last but not least is the Alesis Recital Pro, which is an 88 key digital piano with hammer action keyboard. So this is the rare item in this range that actually has a hammer action keyboard, which is gonna simulate the feel of the actual hammers and the weight of an acoustic instrument. So again, if you have someone that wants to be a serious pianist, this would be a really good first instrument for them. You also have lesson mode, recording, integrated speakers, metronome, onboard effects, sustained pedal input, headphone output for practicing. These are a lot of features you find standard in a lot of these keyboards, but I will say definitely the thing that sets this one apart in this list is the fact that it has that hammer action. The Recital Pro has 12 tones or sounds in it. It's got the acoustic piano, two acoustic pianos actually, electric piano, vibraphone, all the way through a synth, strings, and acoustic and finger style bass. Now, I know one of these keyboards had something like several hundred sounds, and this one only has 12. That might be something you're thinking about when you're shopping. How many sounds do I actually want? Well, I know for me personally that I don't generally need that many sounds, even in a digital piano. A lot of times, probably most of the time, I'm using piano. And I'm using some electric piano and maybe organ and synth here and there, but vast majority of the time, it's either acoustic or electric piano. So again, for somebody that's starting out and playing, not a lot of tones is okay, especially getting started. But on the flip side, more sounds can be fun too, because if you have hundreds of sounds to flip through, you can go from one to the next and play around and have a good time experimenting with all those different sounds you can get. Quick glance at the tech specs, a few other things in here. You have touch sensitivity from soft to hard all the way to fixed. And what that allows you to do is actually change the way the keyboard is responding to your touch, to the way you play. So you can make it go from, if you play, say an average sort of intensity note, an average volume chord or note, you can make that sound very soft or you can make it sound very loud. So you can change those settings depending on how you want it to sound, but also to fit your playing style. And that's one thing you get, even on a piano like this one. You also get some effects, modulation, chorus, and reverb. It has USB connectivity as well for using as a MIDI controller, which you could do with these keyboards in this price range. You could buy an actual MIDI controller, but if you'd like to have something that has built-in sounds and speakers, so you can play and practice and compose that way, and you also are able to plug it into a computer, use it as a controller. And that's it, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, put those in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, click here for more videos like this one, and go to sweetwater.com for all of your music instrument and pro audio needs.